Hello, I've had a question in Unit 4, Lesson 5, Part 2. The question says, a snowball melts at a rate proportional to its surface area. So we have two things going on here. If the snowball, snowball is melting, we have a change in volume with respect to time. And they're also refre ref uh, referencing the change in surface area. They want to show that the radius decreases at a constant rate. So you're trying to prove that dr by dt is equal to zero, um, which would indicate that if the derivative is zero, that means that it must have been a constant um, at, at some point in time. So we are trying to prove that the dr by dt is in fact equal to zero or a constant. So this is just a straight proof. So what they want us to do, we need to know dv by dt. So we know the volume of a sphere is 4 thirds pi r cubed. I take the derivative of that, dv by dt would equal 4 pi r squared. I take my surface area of a sphere, which is 4 pi r squared. The change in the surface area with respect to time is 8 pi r. If it's proportional, that means we're going to set up in terms of a fraction. So I'm going to take those two pieces of information. I'm going to put them on top of each other and make it into a proportion. So the change in volume compared to the change in surface area would equal, so my volume formula, oops, probably some, hopefully some of you are asking yourself, why did you not do dr by dt? Because I forgot is the correct answer to that question. Sorry. Every time you take the derivative of that variable. So, 4 pi r squared dr by dt. And that's going to be over 8 pi r dr by dt. So we can do a little bit of simplification here. So the pi's will cancel. That r will get rid of the exponent. And our dr by dt's drop out of the equation. So we find that the change in the volume with respect to the change in surface area is equal to r over 2. 4 over 8 reduces to a half. So that means that our volume is dependent on our surface area and the radius at that point. Okay. So that means that since there's no dr by dt in the equation, that means that it, it uh, must be a constant, or it, must, it cancels out, so it must be a constant. So therefore, because dr by dt um, is not in our final equation, it must be a constant. All right, so in the volume involved a change in rate of the radius. The surface area involved a rate of change in the radius as well. But when we are doing a comparison of the surface area with respect to how fast it's melting, which is a volume, they undo each other, which means that they play no role, which means, therefore, the change in rate of radius must be a constant. Hopefully that uh, clarifies the question and makes it a little bit easier to understand. If you have any further questions, let me know.